Hi, I'm Stephen Hamlin, and welcome again to Posture 101, and I'd like to tell you a few things about why we're doing these videos. I've seen so many clients over the years, and everybody thinks they don't have good posture, and they stiffen their back for many years trying to have good posture. And this is uh, actually body language for, I give up, I don't know, I'm scared. And you can be pushed over like very easily. This is not good posture, sitting up straight, stiffening. It took me many years to learn this, and I want to share the ideas. There's a lot to learn about what really is good posture. If you say to yourself, I'm not going to sit up stiff like this anymore. Well, you don't want to be like this either. So how, how do you sit up straight? How do you have good posture? Without this stiffening tight muscle thing. There's a skill to learn. How do you sit in a chair? How do you do it? It's not so simple. I used to think, simple, sit in a chair, sit up straight. There's a lot to this, a lot to this. And that's what we're going to cover uh, in this video series. The first idea we have to talk about is what do we do with a chair in our daily life? Most of us will sit down, stand up dozens of times a day, hundreds of times a week, maybe thousands of times a year. And how we do this with a chair affects our hips, our back, everything. There's the right way and the wrong way to sit down. So let me show you the, the correct way to sit down is you counterbalance with the head and the tailbone. The butt stick out behind you. And this is also the way to pick up something on the floor, like this. You counterbalance. You see, if I didn't counterbalance, if I tuck the tail because I didn't want to stick the butt out, I'm going to fall forward unless I stiffen the back. This is very abusive of the back. And most people are trained to pick up a box on the floor by using the knees and protect the back. But they tuck the tail. Nobody says, you have to stick the butt out behind you have a lengthened spine with integrity, you could stay like this for hours, very comfortable, picking up some, and this is how you sit. When you sit in a chair, let your head go down towards the ground, stick the butt out, find the chair with your sitting bones. Easy, because I'm counterbalanced. I could stay like this for a long time. If I tuck the tail under, because I don't want to tuck, stick the butt out, then I kind of fall into the chair. And then I have no support. I just collapse back. And then to sit up straight, I have to stiffen the back. <laughs> and many people spend their whole life in a chair, stiffening to sit up straight, collapsing back, sitting to sit up straight, collapsing back. And all of that could be avoided if they would sit down without tucking the tail under. Find the sitting bones, let them land so the weight is on the front part of the sitting bones. This gives you support for standing, for sitting. So when you come up out of the chair, the next topic, you have to think a moment. You want to come up with support. The support for standing is the feet, not the chair. So before you go up, first get your weight over. So <laughs> it's a new concept for most people. Most people go like this. They go up because they want to stand up. It makes sense, right? You stand up. But look what's happening. The back is tightening. My arms are having to work to help the legs. My legs are over-tightening. The neck is over-tightening. This causes a lot of compression all down the spine for a lifetime. You do this 100 times a month, a week, imagine the trouble you're going to get from that. So instead, what you do is you relax and lengthen and turn the head and relax. You shift your weight over the feet any way you want to do it. From the hip joints, you can throw yourself down like that, or you can slide like this over one foot or the other. If you have a bad knee, you can go over to the, the good knee. And then you come up, just spring up easy. If you're younger and adventuresome, you can hinge at the hips and kind of throw yourself down like this. And come right up. The momentum of going down brings you up. There's no effort. You come back the same way, bend the hips, stick the butt out, come back. Throw yourself down, come up. No tension in the back. You could probably touch my back, it wouldn't be tension along the back. But most people, they stand up and they tighten the back. And I tell you the truth, most people, I, I will feel their back. It's tight like rock. 
And they sit like this all their whole life to meditate, to work at a desk. Whenever they're sitting, their back is like this. And the first thing to learn is when you stand up, shift your weight over the feet to the back and stay relaxed. As you come down, let the buttocks stick out behind you. If you're a woman, this is considered rude or suggested to stick the butt out. But in a, when you're going into a chair, no one sees it, no one cares. So you can stick the butt out. When you're bending to pick something up, it would be easier to have long flowing clothing because then you don't have the image of a butt sticking behind. But good movement requires bending at the hips when you bend the knees. So that's the chair sitting. The material presented here is for information only. It summarizes the main tools that I have personally used for about 25 years as a Feldenkrais teacher. I've worked with many clients with serious medical issues and other people, and I've found these ideas are safe and simple, they're effective, and but common sense dictates that you need your doctor's permission. If you have any questions, if there's any pain, you shouldn't do a movement, you should always be gentle, go slowly. If you have any doubt about the safety of a movement, respect that and don't do it. You can see a professional teacher of movement, an Alexander or Feldenkrais teacher. These people are very good. They've studied posture for a lifetime. You can trust them and they can look at you and in a glance, they can tell you what is going on in your body and what you need to do particularly to help yourself. And this can save you many years of futile effort and struggling doing everything or trying to accomplish something you don't really need to accomplish in the way of posture. When you have a professional, experienced person looking at you and you follow their advice, it can save you lots of effort and time.